Austin and I am back with some more mommy talk and some more mommy tips. But today we're going to get a little personal. I'm going to be telling you my labor story and I've got a surprise for you. I've got my husband who's going to join me today as we talk about the story of our firstborn son, Carson Austin. So excited to have him. Come on, babe. Move a little slow. Hello. <laughs> This is my husband, Hello, everyone. Christopher Austin, the father to my children, the father to my children, Carson and Miles, yeah. by this brother right here. So, this is my husband, but before we get started, do not forget to subscribe, click it, click it, click it, right there, and don't forget to hit the bell so that you make sure you get all your updates about every time I post, okay? Thanks so much for watching. Let's get started. So first, I'm gonna give you the backstory. The backstory is that we were not planning to have a baby. Right. Just weren't planning where he was one of those uh old -oh, pregnancies popped up and we were pregnant. So fast forward to when I was about six, seven months pregnant, we were in the process of buying the home that we're living in now. Mm -hmm. And um, we were about to close and all this or whatever. And that was just a very stressful pregnancy. Just, 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 Hint. I mean, just tip. Do not be pregnant and buy a house at the same time. It's just a lot. But um, we were, we finally closed on the house. We moved in, and I was determined to get his room done. I said, if any room was going to be done in this house, it was going to be my child's nursery. So she was doing too much. I was, I was, <laughs> I was eight, eight, no, eight months pregnant, and. I'm on ladders, nailing stuff in the walls, and I was like trying to do it while he believed because I know he's gonna make me sit down. But I, well, 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 I said, <laughs> and I said, I'll do it. I have no problem with doing it, but she was just determined to get things done. So Yeah, but I, yeah, I just, I'm, I like stuff done on my own time. So mm -hmm. I was getting stuff done or whatever. So I finally got his room done. Finally, everything was done. And I got into bed, we got into bed, and our, we weren't even sleeping in our room. Our room was not even done. So we were like in the guest bedroom, then like a halfway put the other bed. And in the middle of the night, you know, moms, y'all understand, I had to pee. And I had to get up, I waddled, rolled, rolled out the bed, <laughs> rolled out the bed, and got up. And I started walking to the um, bathroom, and I just felt all this water running down my leg. And I, I, didn't, I thought I was peeing on myself. Hey, that's part of pregnancy, too. I thought I was peeing on myself. So sat on the toilet, and I... I think, did I cut on the light? I think I cut on the light. And the I was like, what light? is, yeah, the bathroom. I think I cut <laughs> on the light. And I was like, what is, and it was clear. So I sat down, I didn't really think too much about it. I sat down and I, and it was almost like it hit me immediately. Like, right. your water just broke. And I was like, Chris, Chris. I was knocked out sleep. Knocked out. And I was not expecting that. <laughs> it it was, this, this is like 2 a.m. in right. the morning. 2 a.m. in the morning. So I'm screaming his name. He jumps out of the bed. And I'm like, I think my water just broke. <laughs> so I call my mom. And I'm like, Mommy, I think my water broke. Now, by the time I call her, th from the time I realized my water broke to the time I call my mom, it was maybe like four minutes. I call my mom, and my contractions hit immediately. Like, immediately. And I just start, like, crying. Because contractions are literally no joke. And I feel like they went from, like, zero to five minutes apart immediately. So... Mm. He's running around like we a had chicken. Nothing ready. Nothing. We had nothing prepared. We wanted to prepare for this at all. The only room in the house that was ready was Carson. Right. We had no bags packed. Nothing. Boxes nothing were ready. still everywhere. It was dramatic. So he's running around looking for 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 stuff, and I'm like, get this, get that, get this, get that. And then finally, I was just like, forget it. We gotta go. My these contractions are, are no joke. We gotta go. So, like, the dramatic part about it, it, it was storming outside. <laughs> it was raining outside. It was? Yes, it was raining. Because mm. I remember, because we got out to the car, and uh, we were sitting there. I mean, I was standing there, and I remember I bent over, like, leaning on the car, and it was pouring down rain oh. on my head because <laughs> the contraction hit, and I was just standing there like, oh, my God. So, we finally got in the car. I think my mom might have called him. Yes. He was like. I was nervous. I was so, I had no, from the point that when she woke me up, I was just like, in my mind, I was nervous at the same time that I was happy because I'm like, I'm about to get off work. You know, I'm not going to have to go back to work for a little while. So I was a little bit happy at the same time. He had four weeks off. But I was, I was nervous. I was like, we don't have any bags ready. And then she's in pain, about to start pain and stuff like that. So I was like, what hospital are we going to? Right. So my, I think my mom had called him and yes. he was like, do I, the closer hospital to us is like 
what is it, Skyline, Skyline or something? Skyline, yes. And I, my hospital was I'm thinking she was about to have the baby at this moment. <laughs> in like, the car. Right now, in the car. Right. So he was like, do I take her to Skyline or right. do I take her? My mom was like, calm down. <laughs> calm down. <laughs> take her to her doctor. Take her to your doctor. So we zoomed down the interstate to um, Vanderbilt Hospital. Mm. Woo, woo. Vanderbilt Hospital, Nashville, Tennessee. It's a great, great hospital. hospital yes. um, but we get there, pull up to the emergency room. Um, I pull up to the desk and tell them I'm in labor, whatever. They get me my my um, wheelchair. We go up to the whatever floor it is or whatever. They check me. And I am already four centimeters dilated. I couldn't believe it. Now, for some women who may be watching this who don't really know too much about labor, your dilation starts at zero and you go to 10. 10. For me to be this, now, from the time I found out my water broke, the time we got to the hospital, this maybe been about 30 minutes. So I went from zero to four centimeters in possibly 30 minutes. That's pretty quick. This, this labor was moving fast. So they got me in a room, got me hooked up. At this point, my contractions are no joke. I'm literally crying and like holding his hand like, I'm scared. <laughs> the next one's about to come. I'm scared. Because you can see it on the little screen when it's right. when the next one's coming. Um, but by this time, I think my mom, no, she called me. My mom called me. She's still not here yet. She called me and was like, okay, do you want me to come now or do you want me to, to wait? And I grabbed that phone and was like, if you don't get down here now, get down here now, right now. She's like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. So she finally came, then my sister came, and just pause for the story, but his mom was supposed to be in the room with us, but, but before, they had moved back to California. We live in Nashville. They had moved back to California, um, but he called her in the car and told her that my water broke, and this sister got up, packed the bags, loaded the truck, and moved to Beverly. <laughs> she came on deck down in Nashville that night. Like she got up middle in the middle of the night and moved back to Nashville in her car and came <laughs> headed back. So she was on her way. She wasn't in Nashville, but she was on her way. Yeah. And then my mom and my sister were in the room. So that's that story. So back to the story. Where'd I leave off? Uh calling your mom. Yeah, so, so you tell your mom to come in the, Yes. Come, come so my house. sister, my mom called my sister. My sister Ooh. was on the way. She had to go to my house because, like I said, I didn't have any bag packed. I didn't have anything ready. I didn't have a car. I didn't have, all my stuff was just everywhere. So she had to go to my house and um, pack me a bag and get my pajamas, get me a toothbrush, get, get Carson some clothes, get di just bring everything because I didn't have anything ready. So she went to my house. She finally came to the, got to the hospital, um, was in the room with us. And by this point, they, get, they had already given me my epidural, so I didn't talk about my epidural. So when right. they gave me my epidural, I think that was the only time I actually popped off in, yes. the, in the delivery room yeah. was during my epidural. And I was it like, was, calm down. It was just, it was just a lot. I didn't understand the pain, fellas. So don't don't ever tell your wife to calm down no. in those moments. Because no. you, do, you definitely don't understand. No. So I, me, I was thinking, it's not, it can't be that bad. Like... <laughs> You know, just let's just hurry up and get this epidural. Just, just sit here and you'll be fine. Well, sidebar, <laughs> do not ever have residents, and and I don't and I don't say that to knock residents, but in that time, it's just not the time. Yeah, they talk too much. Yeah, and they have to learn, you know. And it's just, it's just. And so that was the problem for me. I'm having contractions, and I want my epidural, and they're teaching, and I'm like, put it in like now. <laughs> so I just started snapping off, and then. Finally, they, they got that thing up in me. They, they said, this black woman is about to start losing her mind. Let's get this epidural up in her. So they put it in me. I was good. It started working or whatever. And I think I was in the hospital maybe, I think I was in my bed maybe about an hour. And I was ready, almost ready to push. But this is the part where he got frustrated with me. Because the doctors say, I think I was at like eight centimeters. Yes. And they said, let's do some practice pushing. Keyword, <laughs> practice. <laughs> That was the key word. Let's do some practice pushes. Yes. And I said, y'all, I mean, I know my In her mind. own mind, she already <laughs> just said, no, this is no practice push. We're going to do it. Right. I, I, in my mind, I'm tired. I'm ready to get this baby up. I mean, we ain't doing no practice pushing. <laughs> I'm about to push this baby out. So they didn't have no table set up. They had nothing ready. And we started, they said, let's do some practice pushing. I wouldn't stop pushing. I, I said, so no, mad. we pushing this baby out now. 
and I think it was like four pushes because I just wouldn't stop. Yes. And they were like, oh, wait, stop, stop, stop. I'm thinking the baby's about to fall out and hit the floor because <laughs> I'm just like, they said practice, practice push, laugh for real pushing. <laughs> so I didn't want to say anything to her. I don't want to get her all, you know, frustrated. But in my mind, I was like, what is she doing? <laughs> They're not ready at all. Right. So I think it was like, well, they had to like scramble and get all this stuff ready because I just wouldn't stop pushing. And I think it was maybe four pushes. And that brother out. came flying out. <laughs> that brother came flying out. Carson cool. O'Neill Austin was in the building. Seven pounds, eight ounces. I guessed 19 it just right too. and a half inches. I what? guessed it. I guessed the weight just right. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> that was my labor story with Carson. It was pretty dramatic. It was it was almost like I couldn't believe that that's how it went down because it was it, it was as dramatic as I'm telling you <laughs> like it was we can laugh about it now but then it was real and it was just a lot going on. It happened too fast. Too fast. It just seemed like it was just like this boom 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 and mind you his due date was April 29th he came April 14th so he came two weeks early earlier than he when we even expected that's why nothing was ready so don't think mom that I wasn't prepared I wasn't expecting him to come that early so. That's my labor story. This is my wonderful husband who joined me. Thank you for having me. Christopher Austin. Yes, sir. And don't forget to subscribe. Click it. Click it. Click it. Right there. It's right there. <laughs> Click it. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and share. And leave comments down in the comment section below um, if you have any questions for me or if you want to just share your um, labor story. I would love to hear it. Okay? And don't forget. If your kids haven't told you today, have your kids told me today? I don't think they have. No, I don't because they, they, no, they haven't. But you are a great mom. And they appreciate all that you do. And ladies, please don't remember that a woman who fears the Lord, her children will rise up and call her blessed. Don't forget. Have a good one, y'all. Have a good one. You love so